If stepmom and stepson relationship is your cup of tea, you are in luck, because we have nine picks, that are sure to be a match made in heaven on this week's What to Watch. The first part of this video was a massive hit among our subscribers, swept up by its steamy romance refreshing diversity, and all the courtly drama that fans of period pieces know and love. Before we move ahead on our recommendation, please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. At our first pick at number 9. Profit. Jim Profit works for a multinational company and isn't above using any means necessary to get ahead, and that includes bribery, blackmail, intimidation, extortion, and even murder. Now everyone at the company, including the president, Charles Grayson are oblivious to his dark side, as a matter of fact, Grayson thinks of him as a golden boy. But Joan Meltzer, the company's security chief looks into his eyes, she sees something sinister. And when her boss, Jack Walters is looking into some irregularities at the company, he asks Joanne to look into and initially, the person she cornered said it was Prophet who was behind it, but when Prophet learned of this, he convinced this person to change the story she told Joanne. But Joanne knows that Prophet is evil and so she tries to get the goods on him, at the same time, Prophet tries to find a way to neutralize her and anyone else who might believe her. Next up at number 8. The Second Wife. The movie set in the summer of 1957, a Sicilian single mother Anna married to an old truck driver Fasco. And Anna along with her infant daughter Santina moved in with Fasco and his sensitive teenage son Livio. When Fasco is arrested trying to smuggle an antique is jailed for theft and thrown in prison, she ends up falling in love with her handsome stepson together they both get into a passionate romance. At number 7. A woman's a hell of a thing. After his mother's sudden death, a men's magazine owner Houston Blackett. Houston's in for a shock when he finds that mom named her lover Zane Douglas as executor of that estate. Certainly, all he holds dear in a world of instant gratification will come into question before ownership of this particular spread is secured. Trouble is, Houston is a straw man from the start, and it takes almost nothing to set him alight. But even when handed bad ones, her brainy, Jean's clad beauty brings soulful humanity to the proceedings. Ultimately, odds only care about Houston because Zane does. At number 6. Shadow Boxer, 2005. Rose is a highly efficient contract killer, and her stepson, Mikey, shares her profession and her bed. After learning that she has terminal cancer, she decides to carry out one final killing, assisted by her lover and stepson, Mikey. But her plans go awry when she discovers her next target is her latest employer's pregnant wife and their new family finds love and redemption under the most unexpected circumstances. At number 5. 40 Shades of Blue, 2005. A Russian woman after moving from Moscow to Memphis, Tennessee, Laura feels isolated living a new, privileged life with her boyfriend, Alan James, a famous music producer. As time passes, Laura becomes increasingly lonely, while James carries on numerous affairs. When James's estranged son, Michael, comes to visit for the first time in years, Laura's need for companionship and Michael's strained relationship with his father pull them into a tumultuous affair. The story then essentially becomes Laura's, because she is the one who can feel and change. At number 4. Natural Selection, 2011. Linda White her world is turned upside down when she discovers that her dying husband Abe has a 23-year-old illegitimate son named Raymond living in Florida. Somewhere on the edge of guilt and loneliness Linda grants Abe's final wish and sets off on a quixotic journey to find Raymond and bring him back before her husband passes away. A devout Christian housewife leaves her sheltered world on a mission to reunite father and son. Along the way, Linda's wonderfully bizarre relationship with Raymond will teach her more about herself. At number 3. Are You Here? 2013. Two childhood best friends Steve and Ben, one a superficial womanizer and the other a barely functioning bipolar, embark on a road trip back to their hometown after one of them learns his estranged father has died has inherited the family fortune. Steve Dallas a womanizing local weatherman becomes involved in the legal battle initiated by his friend's sister. 
The ill-equipped duo must battle Ben's formidable sister and deal with his father's gorgeous 25-year-old widow. At number 2. Young Mother 3, 2015. 20-year-old Kichan lives alone with his father. One day Unesio, his stepmother comes to live with them. She tries to be friendly with Kichan but he approaches her as a woman and starts showing her that. Unesio strongly rejects him but he knows that she wants him too. Their relationship turns into something dangerous. Then one day, Min Jong, who has had a crush on Kichan for a long time, finds out what is going on between the two. The young stepmother fools her husband and falls in love with his son and the son falls in love with his father's woman. They make a deal with Min Jong to make sure she doesn't say anything. At our top pick number one. A Fish Swimming Upside Down, 2020. Andrea, a woman without a past cheerful direct light energetic honest unpredictable, is the object of both Philip's and his son Martin's desire. They both loved Andrea's presence, a love triangle filled with expectations, longing and fears leaves open the speculation of who knows what about whom. A summer of longing that is fulfilled follows but the inner emptiness begins to seek comfort attachment and last but not least for security. All right friends, well hopefully this list will give you plenty of new period pieces to press play on. Be sure to let us know what you are currently streaming in the comments section and don't forget to smash the like button and of course if you don't want to miss out on any future recommendations based around the movies and shows that you love be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell and as always we can't thank you enough for tuning in to the what to watch guide.